Hi, Rhonda here with Hey Help Me Rhonda. Today I want to show you how to attend a Google Hangout. Now normally to attend a Google Hangout you will get an invitation either by email which will be a link or a notice or you will have a Google Hangout notification come up on your Google Plus account. Now, if you've never been into Google Plus, you can see it when you're logged into Google. Now, you have a Google Plus account if you have a Gmail email. So if you already have a Gmail email, then that is what you log into Google with. If you don't have that, then you will need to create a Google account and create a Gmail account. It's very simple to do. Just go to gmail.com and it will walk you through the steps. Now, once you're logged into Google, you will see a plus sign and your name. And if you click on that, that's going to take you to Google Plus. And this is where you will attend Hangouts. And you'll see that Hangouts show, show up over to the side. Um, you can also see Start a Hangout. And normally when someone invites you into a video hangout, you will see it down here in this area as well. Now, once you get a link to join a Google Hangout to your email or a notification and you click to join the hangout, I want to show you what that looks like. So I've got a Google Hangout link and I'm just going to paste it into my browser. And now the actual hangout is coming up. So you can see... I'm joining the Hangout and it asked me to um, agree to the terms so I'm going to click there and then you just click OK got it and then the Hangout is going to open up and you can click on join. And you will see that different things will open up. If there's no one else um, on the video call then you will see this message here. And it'll give you a few things that you can do while you're waiting for everyone else to show up. You will also see a box down here in the corner. This box is you. And it shows your camera. Now if you don't want to show your camera, you can click this icon right up here at the top with the X through the camera. And what that will do is just put your icon up. Now you can also mute yourself while you're on the Google Hangout. So if you click on this icon here to mute your microphone, it will mute your microphone. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mute my microphone and then you guys can't hear me. So those are some things you can do. If you're not having good connections, then you can click on um, the adjust bandwidth usage. And you just want to make sure that it's at the highest possible so that you're getting good bandwidth and everyone can hear you. Now by rule it's it's best to be um, hardwired in when you're on a Google Hangout. So you if you can connect an Ethernet cord directly to your computer that's going to give you a better signal and it's going to give you a uh, better video than if you use just your Wi-Fi. So that's another thing that you may want to consider. Now everyone who's in the Hangout you will see lined up down here in boxes and you can all talk to one another. Also there is a chat option so if you click on the blue and white chat icons here then you will see a chat box that comes up over to the right hand side and you can enter a chat in there and then only the people who are in here, this is called a film strip down at the bottom, only the people in the film strip will see um, your chat here. And as people come in, you'll see that this waiting for people to join will go away, and then you can talk to everyone. Now, good etiquette is if you are not, um, if you're not the one talking at the time, then it's a good idea to go ahead and mute yourself so that there's not a lot of background noise going on while others are talking. And then just remember to unmute yourself when you want to ask a question or you want to join the conversation. 
Also, if others are talking and you want to get a question in or you're joining a workshop and you want to ask a question that's not a voice question, then you could type it in over into the chat box here. Now, once the um, Google Hangout, if you're doing like a Google Hangout for a meeting or a workshop that lasts a while and you go to take a break, you don't have to hang up the Google Hangout. You can just leave the Google Hangout up and it will stay up for you. And you could just turn your camera off. You can mute yourself and then go do whatever you want to do, take a break and then come back and the Google Hangout is still up. Another thing to, um, to remember that really makes your Google Hangout a good quality is if you attend the Hangout and open the Hangout in Safari. So the Safari browser is actually made by Google and that is going to make the browser work a lot better. It's also a good idea to come just a few minutes early before your Hangout starts so that you can test your audio and your video and make sure everything looks good. If you do come into the Hangout and your audio or your video is not working the way that it should and you've tried adjusting your audio on your computer, you've tried adjusting your headset and things like that, then you can try going out of the Hangout by clicking on the red phone and then coming back into the Hangout. And usually you can just come back into the Hangout by um, clicking on the link that you were sent before. And then also this link here will get you back into the Hangout as well. So you can copy this link when you first go in so that you know uh, where you're supposed to go if you do get disconnected or you do need to leave the Hangout, then you can come right back in. And that's the basics of attending a Google Hangout. So I hope that you enjoy Google Hangouts for meeting with friends or colleagues, attending workshops. It's always a, a great way to do that because you're face to face. So those are the basics for attending your Google Hangout. I hope you enjoyed it.